We all love a good tray bake. It's one of those dishes that, you know, it's very homely, it's not too dainty, and brings the whole family together. And this Ramadan, you want to be sharing beautiful meals with your family. I'm going to show you my little slightly dainty and a bit of my finesse take on kafta o patata besuniye. Now kafta o patata besuniye literally translates to kafta, which is meat and it's got some spices and herbs and veggies in there and potato in a tray. This is a one pan dish. It is so easy to make, so flavorful that you are probably going to have this in your repertoire. Before we get started, let me take you around my bench to show you what I have prepared. What I've done here is sliced my potatoes and half fried them. I've done the same to my eggplant and then I've prepped my tomato puree with a bit of water mixed together. That's going to form the basis of the sauce. And then I've got my spices, my pomegranate molasses and the beautiful hand-cut kafta from Abu Ahmad Butchery. Simply stunning. It is so delicious. There are many ways and many variations that you can do with kafta or patata bilsaniye. And you know, my way is just one of the ways. You can put the kafta all over the base of the tray, layer your other ingredients on top, you can do little fingers of kafta, you can do little patties of kafta, you know, it's, it's endless. What I'm going to do today is mold my kafta into this ring because I want, I want a nice, neat little stack. I want to have a beautiful stack of rice, kafta, my veggies and that stunning sauce to go all around it. So I've got my ring ready. I'm going to put on some gloves. I'm going to add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Now I want to portion my kafta. I'm going to wet my hands a little bit just to make it easier. And we're going to portion that, grab some in there. So this is what you're after, a nice round shape for the kafta. Just place it gently in your tray and I'm going to finish the rest of them and then we can start layering. So my kafta is all done now and it's time to start layering. What we want first is a piece of potato and now the eggplant. Next I want to slice my tomatoes and put that on top and then slice my onions and that's the final piece to my little stack. Okay, time to mix up our delicious sauce. To that, I'm going to add a little bit of seven spice mix. I love all my dishes jam-packed full of flavor, and this is why I love adding a bit of additional spice. We've got ground coriander, a yeah. bit of ground cumin, a bit of ground black pepper, and you know what? Kafta and pomegranate molasses are one of those things that we call a match made in heaven. They just complement each other so well and lift each other up. So guess what? We're adding pomegranate molasses into our sauce as well. And of course, salt. Maybe a few huda pinches of salt. Now mix it up until everything is well combined and then we're going to pour that over our kafta stacks. And we're ready to pour. Now this sauce will reduce while it's in the oven and should thicken up slightly as well, just to be a beautiful, nice, you know, what, condiment to our little stacks, would you say, Michelle? Time to put these babies in the oven. We'll, uh, I'm gonna say about that 20 minute mark, we'll check in on them, see how they're going, then we'll plate up. Our kafta and potato tray bake has been in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes, would you say, Michaela? About to. Thereabouts. Time to take it out, time to plate it up. I've got 
a bit of rice here in the center of my plate. This is the vermicelli rice. You can get this recipe in one of my other videos. The oil has started to separate from the sauce, which means it's reducing and reduced quite nicely. Look at how beautiful these look. So stunning and so inviting. I'm just gonna plate that up on my rice, very and ever so carefully. Now we want some of that sauce to just come at the base. To finish this dish up, of course we're going to use some micro herbs, just for added freshness. I love freshness in my dishes, especially these ones because they're so rich, so hearty. And that is my kafta and potato stack. So delicious. I'm not waiting for anyone. I'm digging straight into this one. So delicious. The kafta is beautifully moist. That sauce is full of flavour. Yum. Must try. Mm -hmm.